come on. <sighs> Still in the game. Okay, I missed. Let's make this putt and you win the dare. After what you put me through, you better hope I miss this, pal. Oh. Oh, come on. No! Yes! Yes! <laughs> wow. Okay. Huh? Let me have it. What do you want me to do? Carry your purse for a week? Sing to you every night? Drive home naked? Mm -hmm. You need to kiss me. Right? Tough day. It's like a couple weeks. I just left Clay's house. Anybody been out there since? And I'll tell you something. You walk into something like that, and suddenly all your own problems don't seem like such a big deal. Well, I got next round. Can I get a couple beers here? Sure. Look, I've been meaning to, uh, Thank you. For what? For spending time with Jamie. Oh. Don't mention it. He's a great kid. <laughs> We've been playing baseball. Kid totally fixed my swing. He's great. He loves it, so... Nice work, Dad. Baseball? Yep, of course he told me he's gonna play basketball like his old man does. You mean like his old man used to? What? I've been avoiding it now for a while, but uh, my back is done. So I'm going to finish this beer, and then I'm going to go home and tell my wife that I'm done playing. Wow. That's huge. When did you decide that? Just a second. Why? <sighs> Haley's pregnant. Clay and Quinn are recovering, and, uh... I didn't even know my own son liked baseball. Listen, um... Give Brooke my best. And tell her I said not to be afraid of what comes next. What you reading? Nothing. I mean, it's it's a script, but I get sent a lot of scripts, you know, so it's not really a big deal. You mean good? No, not really. Like, if if it bothers you, I won't bring him into work. Oh, it's, it's fun. I'm just curious. Okay. By the way, you look amazing today. Well, you are amazing today, and you kind of were amazing last night. Don't tell the boss about that. All right. There's something wrong with this plot. The actors here have not got. So, are you sure you don't want to stay and hang out? Uh, yeah, the thing is, thank God. Dude, can you get that? And if they ask for me, say I'm out. No, say I'm at work. The rent's a little past due. Taking my advice, huh? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Mouth! Nate, come on in. What are you doing here? Do you know what fortitude means, Mouth? Sure. It means, um, facing adversity with courage and strength. Well, I'm hoping that's what we're both doing here. 
Nate, can you just go back out and do all that again? Number 23? Oh. Hmm. So, I never really thanked you for taking me to Portland a couple of weeks ago. And it was really good for me to get out of town and gain some perspective. Yeah, we all need that sometimes. They said I was supposed to set you free Give you wings to fly They say I was supposed to hold the key To life and eternity Ba-da, ba-da-da, ba-da-da So when the party's over You suddenly get colder Someone hold me tight And tell me everything gonna be alright Can't be low Cause I'm not free And it ain't enough I don't believe oh, I believe in love I wanted to uh, apologize for snapping at you earlier. It wasn't fair. I know you're just trying to be my friend. Thanks. But I have a confession to make. I'm glad Alex is gone. I'm sorry. I just know you can do better. And I'm not saying it's me, but you deserve somebody who appreciates the kind of man that you are. And I know you're going to find your chance. So you could tell me that you love me a thousand times, but for you to show me, you couldn't even if you tried. Can't be love, cause I'm not free, and it ain't enough. You're going home with Spartacus. Just playing by your rules. You ready? Only in shots, baby. It feels dangerous. You go your way, I go my way. Thought you two could use a coffee break. Hey. Thanks, Chase. Oh, I heard pregnant ladies can't drink coffee. Oh, yeah, we can't. Juice would have been fine. That was really nice of you. Glass of water. No problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Chase out. Sorry. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> so things seem to be going really well with you guys. Yeah. Well, Alex is out of the way. I can finally talk to him again. Oh, oh look, knuckle puss. Let's put that in the pre-hate file. You're never gonna find another artist. Yes, we will. 
Okay. What about the girl from Open Mic Night? She was awesome. Why do you know her? Sort of. Her name's Erin. Great, so get her in here. I'd love to. The only reason I know her is that she's been calling into the crisis center hotline. It's supposed to be anonymous. But you know as well as I do that artists love to hear how great they are. That's true. I think you're great. You're so awesome. <laughs> Great, right? Really great. I know. She reminds me of me. <laughs> I want to work with her. I think she feels really threatened by it, the idea of recording for a label. Well, think about it, Hales. I mean, when we first met, all I had were my songs. But I'm going to protect her. She has to know that. Well, I'm sure she hopes that's the case, but she probably just needs to hear you say it and see you mean it. I know I did. <laughs> 